Hi guys, it's Katie. Uh, happy Wednesday and welcome to part four of my breakfast journal series. So this week um, I did a couple of fun pages in here. So uh, yeah, if you guys want to see the pages I did this week, then just keep watching. So starting off, I'm going to do hide a secret message. So I just chose some colors, a scrap of paper. I cut them out into these little like one inch squares. And then I took them and I folded the corners in like this. And I just grabbed a tiny piece of tape to tape the three corners together to create a little pocket envelope. And then I'm folding the top over to make it look more like an envelope. And I just did this with all 15 little squares that I had. So now I'm taking the 15 squares and I'm just taping them down onto the page of my journal. I'm just using a different kind of pattern with the different colors that I chose. And then on the other page, I wrote down a little alphabet key secret message decoder for my message. So I'm taking these little pieces of white paper and I just drew down the symbols. Uh, you get brownie points if you can guess what this message says. Uh, but now I'm just sticking all the little pieces to my secret message into the random envelopes. And then I'm also going to decorate the page some more. So I just put a little pretty little wires quote and then the A's and stuff because secrets. Okay, so now this next page is filled with circles. Uh, if anyone's afraid of, like, groups of circles, you may not want to watch this, because, uh, there's a lot of circles. Um, this, like, took me forever to do. Forever. Like, hours. But, I think it turned out really cool. Um, as you can see, I did all these little ones in between the bigger ones. And it was a process. It took a couple days but I think it turns out really cool in the end. I didn't actually fill the entire page, I just kind of made it look like they were dribbling off onto the next page. And that's what it looked like when I finished that, and I decided to add some color into the bigger circles that I added into the design, and this is the finished product. I think it looks really cool. I'm really satisfied with how this turned out. So the next page I'm going to be doing is the glue and staple the two pages together and the rip it strips. Um, I decided I'm going to attach those two pages so on the glue one I just did some random cursive scribbling. Doesn't really say anything. I just kind of scribbled to make it look like script. And now on the tear it up page I am drawing a brown border around here my idea is to make kind of like a bookshelf look with some uh, books inside the strips. So that's what I'm doing. So I just drew different spines of different kinds of books that I enjoyed. Um, yeah. And then I grab my stapler and I'm just stapling around the perimeter of the pages just to secure the two together. And then I'm taking some scissors to cut these strips up. I tried to rip them like it said, but it was very hard because I probably should have done it before I stapled the pages together, but you know, so I'm just using some scissors. And this is what it looks like when you lift all the little books up. And now on the other page, I glued down a piece of scrap of paper and I'm just writing down a cute little reading quote with a sharpie just to kind of finish these pages off. And 
And it just says reading gives us some place to go when we have to stay where we are. And I thought this page just turned out really cute. Hey guys, welcome back. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making the pages that I made this week. We are 13 pages in already, so that's fun. I'm really excited to do some more of the pages. I have a lot of ideas that I kind of want to execute. But yeah, so if you guys want to keep up with the series, be sure to subscribe down below. Also hit that little bell icon and you guys will be notified the exact time which I upload. I upload every Wednesday and Saturday and the times kind of vary but if you want to get notified then go ahead and click that little bell icon, subscribe. Also you can follow me on social media. I do post on Twitter, Instagram when I upload a new video so if you guys want to keep up to date whenever I upload and be part of the like first crew then you should go ahead and do that enough uh, self-promotion so i will see you guys on saturday for my next video bye